We consider land uh, as our sort of earth mother, who actually provides so much for us and that asks for nothing in return. We're an organic plantation, which means we don't use any chemical fertilizers or weed killers because firstly we want the food that we're growing to be healthy because those chemicals are not good for the environment either. The earth does so much for us, the very least we can do is look after it. Another side is the health benefits to people of eating healthy food that tastes good. I think we might have started this business in about 2012. Before COVID, the accommodation side of our business was the main thing, and we had a lot of international tourists coming to stay with us. It pushed us into other areas. We started thinking about doing other things. Uh, we now cater mainly for the local market. Instead of selling the fruit itself, we generally make things from it. We started making preserves. We've also been doing dried fruits, so dehydrating the fruits for quite a few years. That was probably the second thing that we got into. We do two different varieties of banana, pineapple and papaya. We've started making what we call fruity pops, which are an ice popsicle, but they're a healthy version of what has been available in Samoa. So they're made with pure fruit and new water from the young coconut. We've made seven flavors now, but we have five standard flavors. It is becoming more popular, which is great. And um, a lot of people appreciate the fact that there's a, a healthy option available. That's enough to, to keep us motivated and keep us going. We have a couple of um, really lovely stories about when we go to the market, there's a couple of kids that come to us without their parents looking for an icy pop. We'd really like to get into solar power so that we're eco-friendly in that way as well. We have a rather high electricity usage at the moment. We're just looking to either subsidise or completely replace certain periods. So Saffron would definitely help us get there. If the opportunity which it has now presents itself, then I think this is where we would go. We would think about alternative power and think about making less of a footprint on, on the world, uh, self-sustainability. And I just think it's, uh, it's the right thing to do. That, that's what really drives us. Sometimes we don't do things so much for the money, but because it's the right thing to do. We hoped that Fruity Pop Day would be popular with kids and that we'd be able to get them into school canteens. And I think that the biggest change you're going to get is if you can influence the younger generation and get them off to healthy eating habits from a young age. We have faith in it and we're pushing it. We're not, we're not going to give up on it because it actually hits all of our boxes, uses our fruit. It, it's employing somebody here to, to make it. Um, it's good for you. It's good for you. It's good for you.